there's my gas meter at the back of the house. Where you see that hard hat out there is where the gas line has uh, been set to come in the house as far as I know. Not sure. They had a, a yellow hose coming up out of the ground here. here you're gonna have I guess have to go under the house unless they change their mind about where they're gonna put the thing and to get to the to the gas meter they got to go through under a lot of concrete to get to it if they're going underneath welcome to ARW we're gonna do uh, video number three on how to use the DRO and we'll use one of my favorite functions which is the uh, the bolt hole circle. I think that should be a reasonably useful thing for anybody that's got a DRO in the mill and needs to have holes in a circle. <laughs> At least it, it has been for me. And I had just barely got that uh, sticker video done and here comes another sticker. Let's see it there. That's up right. Everything's backwards in the mirror. This is Mick's workshop. He's up there in New York and he'd like you to come over and look at his videos all right so now then we'll just go ahead and get started with the, well you guys ask questions make comments and that helps me to improve things and we'll, as we get started here today i'm going to show the answer to one of the questions i was asked on the uh, number one video okay this is the rear jaw of the vice and this is the front jaw now i was asked how would i find the center of Y on this piece when it's down inside the vice jaws. Well, we, we know that uh, it goes from the back jaw all the way to the front jaw. So if I find zero here and find the edge here, then divide them by two, I'm in the center. Okay? And uh, we're going to use the absolute mode here, which means that this corner over here won't be my X and Y zero anymore. Zero will be right here in the middle for both of them. All right, so what we'll do is we'll crank this guy up. We'll, we'll watch him, see when he kicks over. I'll zoom you in on him a little bit closer. Hopefully you can see when it kicks over. I was way out from it. just kicked over and I'm not going to double check it because we're not doing any precision work so I'll come up here to Y I'll have to zoom back out and I'm going to set Y to zero which we know the back jaw is zero on Y anyway but this is showing you how to find it other way. This guy is 5.3195 long. So we'll just do the function to find it up there on the uh, DRO. All right, so we set the Y zero and then we moved back 
towards us, or we move the piece toward the column. All right, so now we'll come up here, we'll hit Y and the half function, and there we are. That's half of five inches and something. So now then, if we want to find the zero spot for, for Y, we'll just crank this guy over here. Alright, that's the center. Let's look down here and see if that looks like the center of Y. Move you around to the side where you can see really good. Does that look like the center of Y? It looks like it to me, even though we're on a slight angle here. Alright, now we'll find the center of X. The same exact way, and I'm not going to do a video on that because it's just move, making the same moves in the other direction. Okay, so we're going to drill a bolt hole circle. My manual refers to it as the PCD function. Uh, I don't know why. It shows you how to do uh, radiuses and uh, bolt hole circles, both in the PCD function. But here's a little picture of a bunch of uh, bolt holes around a circle. And you push that, and it's, it's an XY function. You enter center position. Is right here where we're at so we don't have to do anything okay the diameter now we know that this board is a little piece of board five inches something but five inches something so let's make say a four inch diameter four and four in there the diameter is four inches all right next step is the starting angle well, I think the starting angle is at the left end of the x-axis so in other words 180 is on this end and zeros on that end of the table all right so we're just going to say you start on zero at this point it's good to already know how many holes you're going to make so we're going to make six holes and we've got a 360 degree circle so six into 360 comes out to 60 so we know that zero is on the left end so our ending angle is going to be 300. You got to subtract 60 because we're already going to have a bolt hole at the end of the circle. All right. So 300 is our ending angle. Now number of holes. There's six there. I didn't don't remember putting that in, but <laughs> I must have done that at some previous time. All right. So we go from there. This is hole, real hole number one. All right. So I've, all of these things you have to move to uh, zero. Okay. Now I've got, I don't have a drill bit in the chuck right now, so I'm going to put one in and then I'll come back. All right, I don't know exactly where we were starting there a minute ago, but I went ahead and put a, a drill bit in the chuck. And I would not be using this edge finder with this chuck ordinarily, even though it's a precision chuck, I'd use a collet. But since we're just doing this for, you know, for demonstration pur pur purposes, I can be more lenient with myself and make it easy on them. Alright, so we've got to go down to zero. Every time we change anything, we'll have to go to zero. And that right there, that's zero. Let's see if that's still on the board. Yeah. Alright, we're at zero. We're going to drill our first hole, which is, like I said, going to be at the left end. Of everything. And so I'm going to put a little circle around these holes here so that we know we just got through making them. <laughs> Alright, because there's a lot of holes already in the board. Alright, now then let's go here for hole number two. Hit the affair, hole two. So this one's got to go to zero. And so does the y axis. It's got to go to zero. Uh, 
uh, that's pretty close to zero. All right, so we come down here, and you can see that we have moved. I'm going to move the light so that it's not so making that shadow on the wrong place. Uh, let's see if I can move it around here. That should look better. All right. You can see our first hole was right here. Our second hole is going to be here. Okay. And it's going to be just like this for each hole. I'm going to go to that hole number, and then I'm going to crank both axes to zero. And I'll not put that in the video because you see, you see what we're doing. For our hole free, the wax just only moved just a few tenths. All right, and that's hole three. And I said I wasn't going to fill it. Here we go. As you can see, we moved from here to here. I drilled the hole, but I didn't have the camera on. I already zoomed the zoomer back out. So, take this sluice, and I'll hold it up here for your inspection. If you'll notice, let me get a little bit closer on it. All right, Every, this is hole one, two, three, four, five, six. And if we had a, uh, a thing to mark the circle, uh, I could show you that it's uh, dead in the center. Let me, let me try to find a compass. All right, I, I marked the center. I make a little dent in a circle around it. Now let me try to find something that'll follow that circle. A little compass with a pencil holder is in the house. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to kick you guys. And I don't have to change my shoes to go in there and get it. So here's the center that I marked. You see there's the center of that hole, center of that hole, center, 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 center. It's a round circle. The holes are all in the right position. And that's how you make a bolt hole circle. Before we go, let's do one more little uh, exercise with the edge finder, okay? So let's zoom in there a little bit. Let's pretend that uh, this piece is too narrow for us to get the edge finder down in here beside it. So how are we going to find the edge? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to, in this case, we're just going to drop the, uh, drop this guy down. And I'm going to use a clamp. I've got one here somewhere. Let me back it off. You can see that I've come down there beside the uh, the piece. Right, zoom the zoomer backwards. And let's look up here. Now I don't have a DRO on my quill. It's on the table. And right at the moment I don't want to move the table up and down. So I'm going to put this little guy. Snap this guy onto here. All right. Well, there we are. That's as far down as it'll go. Now then we'll come over here. And we'll move this guy in and find the edge. All right, it kicked over. It kicked over right there, so that's the edge. That's going to be the X to zero. All right, I've zeroed X. You can see up, up there, X is now zeroed. All right, now then we're going to come over to the other side of this uh, piece. Lift this guy up. Come over to the other side. Come back down until we hit our stop. This means that we're in equal distance from the top on either side. All right, and then we'll crank him up and find the edge.
It's kick. I made it kick over several times there because I wasn't sure. I want to be certain of it. <clears throat> Alright, let's go back to X. Zoom in on this one with the zoomer. Alright, so now we know that the halfway of that will be X0. So we hit X, half, and we lift this guy up. Take this guy to zero. And now that we've got it on zero, let's walk over here and take a look at what we've got. I'm going to zoom it right in on that guy, even though there's a lot of camera movement. As you can see, that's dead center. So you don't really have to go all the way to the edge to find it on the round piece, just as long as you go down the same amount on both sides. And that little stop right there, guaranteed I went to the same depth on both sides. Now if you've got a knee mill, you can also crank up the knee. You know, come over here and crank up the knee. If you really want to uh, want to read the DRO to make sure that you're at the right depth. I just find it easier to use that clamp. Okay guys, that, that ought to be enough DRO stuff for today. Let's go find Bubba. Well, it seems like Bubba's Aunt Edna went down to the pharmacy there in local town, you know. She went in, looks at the pharmacist right in the eye and says, uh, I need to buy me some cyanide. She looks at her and says, well, what do you need cyanide for? She says, well, I need it to poison my husband. And the, the farmer says, oh, my God. He says, oh, Lord have mercy. He says, I can't sell you any cyanide to poison your husband. He says, I, I, I can't give you any cyanide. So Aunt Edna reaches in her purse. She pulls out this picture and hands it to him. It's a picture of, the, of Uncle Bert in, in bed with the pharmacist's wife. The pharmacist looks at that and he says, oh, excuse me, ma'am, I didn't know you had a, a, a prescription. 